Let's roll. It's RT Spacer with you. So I said I would get to this, so here it is. So as you may already tell, these trucks didn't come with the hitches that you see on them, and the trailers didn't come with those couplers on the front. I had to create all that. And here's how. So I'm showing you this setup here made completely by Mattel because this is what I simulated as close as I could. Here they simply drilled a hole at the front of the trailer and basically called that the coupler and the hitch goes right through it. That will not come apart when you lift it up like that. It can come apart like this though. and it works pretty well. Unfortunately, my system that I created is not as strong as this. So looking at the connection that I created, I simply used a toothpick and bent it up in certain spots. I attached it to the truck with glue, and I also used glue to hit all the spots I bent the toothpick at so it holds still. Now I'm thinking about eventually replacing that with a paper clip and bend that, bend that in certain areas, but I'm not doing that anytime soon. Now as for the coupler on the trailer, well, that's very similar to what exists with Mattel. Again, I just wanted to simulate that as close as possible, so I just took a piece of hard plastic and I cut it up. And then I drilled a hole through it with an electric drill, not with my finger, but I'm just trying to show you. So what I found to be tricky about this was getting the hitch and coupler just right so that the trailer's level. Now to help me out with that, I just so happened to have the matchbox and the hitch that Mattel created. I just did my best to get the hitch I created as level as that existing hitch as I could. As you can see, it's not picture perfect, but it's still good to pull the trailer with, and that was the goal. I did the same thing with this combination back here, the 79 Ford and the flatbed trailer. It's also important to make sure the hitch and the coupler or center just right. If they're centered just right, it'll turn out like this. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. Here's the one Mattel did. Obviously they got that one right. And this combination I just did is not picture perfect, but it's good enough for me. So this has been a look and how I created these connections between two Hot Wheels pickups and two Maisto toy car trailers. Okay, I wanted to clarify that. These are not Hot Wheels trailers. They were made by Maisto, this one and the one in the back. I did a video all about them titled Two Maisto Toy Car Trailers uh, Repurposed. Now this trailer here is a Mattel trailer on the Matchbox side. And just to show you, it does work on the hitches I created. Now, I wasn't aiming to achieve this, but it winds up being a bonus. It works on the 79 Ford, and it also works on the Ram truck, too. Yep, either truck can pull it, but... It matches the 79 Ford pretty well, doesn't it? So obviously it's been a lot of fun to create this and then to enjoy what I created. But I'm telling you right now, this wouldn't be possible without some Gorilla Glue. 
I used to use crazy glue, but it just wasn't holding up as well. This is stronger but to my satisfaction. There's even stronger glue out there, but I don't need that. Now something I want to clear up before it gets out of hand is that I would never, ever, ever sell these. All of this was once just a thought in my head. This didn't exist in the way I wanted it. And so I had to create it and I took the time to do so. I would never ever just sell it off. I wanted YouTube to become more of an interactive thing, which I'm connecting with people who share common interests with me and all that. I didn't really want to get into the business of buying and selling and trading. I do have here some vehicles I would do that with. All of them are on this strip right here. Now, I haven't put a price on these yet. But soon, he soon here I'll be doing a video all about these. So stay tuned. It's RT Spacer with you. Let's roll.